risks, you know. If there is someone that uh, has something, you know, police will investigate and we just have to cooperate. And you're, you're obviously doing your training now, so you're expecting the game to go ahead as normal tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Well, uh, Ole Washin uh, Okaleji is a BBC sports reporter all the way here from Nigeria for this match. You were with the team uh, when these allegations were raised last night. What was the reaction? Basically, some of the players were furious. Um, they were disappointed and they said um, just some elements trying to taint their build up to the World Cup. They said um, there's no way they can be approached to fix a game. They are well taken care of by the Nigerian Football Federation. The play at the top level, they hand good money, so there's no amount of money that a fixer could use to actually tempt them to want to fix the match. They said it's embarrassing and it's sad that this is actually taking place, taking precedence over the importance of such an important game. It is an important game. What did the uh, Scottish Football Federation have to say as well? Basically, they've said they've been cooperating with the National Crime Agency um, to say that um, they're going to prepare for this game um, no more and um, um, they expect the, the Nigerian counterpart to do um, the same. Um, for the, on the part of the Nigerian side, they said they cannot say more than the Scottish FA have actually said. They said, and that's the best answer to say right now because they want to focus on the World Cup. They are going to the World Cup. Scotland is not going to the World Cup, so they want to focus all their energy and, of course, their attention on the World Cup. Now, it was just last month that the Nigerian Football Federation had to quash uh, um, some rumours and some allegations from an alleged match fixer. I mean, is, is this perhaps why this, this is under a cloud again? Basically, that's the reason why, because um, this fixer actually came out to say um, the build-up to the last um, 2010 World Cup in South Africa, he actually fixed some games. And um, um, the Nigerian Football Federation were furious, and of course, they've been cooperating with FIFA, trying to um, clear this allegation. They said they want free and square in Kenya, because that was the key game, the game that he actually alleged that he fixed. So they said they, they won fair and square, and um, they are cooperating with FIFA. They've given video evidence, and of course, their own Interpol officials are trying to talk to FIFA. They said there's no way they fix the game, and they haven't fixed any game. I know you're a reporter and you're meant to be impartial, but very, very quickly, what's your feeling for tonight? I think um, a Nigerian victory. I don't know how, I mean, come on, um, it's, it's, it's two words apart. One team going to the World Cup, one team building up on um, what they've done so far. And the last time Nigeria played Scotland, they beat them in Scotland. Okay, thank you very much. Tim, hopefully uh, that's the end of those allegations and uh, we can just focus on the football tonight. All right, and we'll keep people posted about that. Daniela, thank you very much indeed. Stay with us. Coming up in a few minutes' time, if you can push a button, you're qualified to take this one for a spin.